Hello, welcome to my series on uh, the CobraScript um, language. It's actually just KOS, uh, but I like to call it CobraScript because, well, you know, it's more lo uh, it's longer. So anyway, um, we will be looking at some of the scripts that I've made, where um, uh, I think it's pretty useful. A, a lot of those scripts are pretty useful, so I'm gonna share with you guys. So in the last episode, we were actually trying to um, dock trying to automatically rendezvous with a target and um, with a target in low carbon orbit which uh, actually like you know uh, I think it's pretty impressive and um, and because because just 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 because like normally when um, because you know rendezvous is sort of difficult like it's really difficult for for me person personally so having a script that can automatically do that do it for me and like do it in like one or two minutes instead of like me just trying trying twenty minutes and I still couldn't get it to touch it will to touch with it, uh, with each other. So you know it's real pain in the ass. So here we um so you know that's pretty awesome. Um but today like uh but for the past couple of days like uh, I've actually pushed um, that script to the limit. Um I've made some modifications here and there and now uh, it's so much more powerful. Uh, well, well, it's, it's it's not like it's more powerful, but uh, I realized that it can do much more than I originally thought. So let's jump right in. So right here, um, you can see. Yeah, let me disable the satellite. Yeah. So right here, here is our satellite. Yes, um, it's. In situ resource utilization, uh, it mines ore on Minmus, um, and it's supposed to refill to this vessel right here. And as you can see, like you know, our orbits are sort of completely different. However, like if I actually run the rendezvous script, it actually works. So, um, and I'm sort of amazed by this because, like, originally when I developed it, um, I did not expect it to work. Um, so so yeah, let's test that target and let's run rendezvous. Yeah, basically now it's um, it's warping until distances are um, increasing, which is like which is like basically at the minimum point. So we're gonna um, warp speed up a little bit to help it along. Yeah, um, as you can see, this is sort of an easy case because, well, you know, the, the, the place where they happen to line up is sort of like um, right at the, the ascending and descending node. So, yeah, that's sort of uh, fortunate. So, um, uh, yeah, it can do it just fine. And here, let's try running for, um, yeah. Just try running for a while. Yeah, and it, right now it's eight hours. Speeding up, past this point, and um, yeah, do a retrograde burn. Oh, and also, um, like, um, uh, l let me just give you guys a recap of how it works, um, internally, um, in case you guys don't, uh, didn't see the last episode. So what it does is basically, uh, like right here, it's slowing down, means that it's trying to seek out the target, the retrograde and mark, um, and then, when the speed drops below something, uh, b below a certain threshold, then it increases the speed of again. No, it sort of points toward directly towards the target, and then it fires a little bit. Um, yeah, let me speed this up. Yeah, and it fires a little bit so that that uh, so that we approach the target, and then 
and then you know, and it just detects when the uh, when the distance is coming down, uh, coming down and coming up again, which is like the the minimum distance that um, uh, that uh, that they reach. So at that point, like it starts slowing down again. So that's why you see this like free cycle of warping until distances are increasing, slowing down, and then speeding up. And there are three different segments. Like there's a coarse segment, there's a fine, and there's a vi very fine segment. So the coarse segments, like uh, we're using big velocities. Um, yeah, really, really big velocities, like like 20 meters per second, um, or something like that. And you know, and the and their goal is to just get to like a thousand. Yeah, like just just get to a thousand meters with each other, um, and then as we um, as we go finer and finer and finer, like yeah, as we go finer and finer, like um, yeah, we we sort of sort of annul everything down so that we're we're just you know very slowly affect things. So um, here, also not like the original, yeah. Yeah, interesting thing is, well, okay, yeah, that, yeah, um, when, when, like, you know, when you actually, like, sp uh, speeding up or something, like, it actually phases through one another, one another, like, well, because, you know, so it's got, um, because KSP doesn't really detect moving objects that much um when when you're actually speeding up slowing down so yeah that this is actually good enough so i mean yeah so this sort of proves that this can work and um yeah and now we're like really close to the target and at which point you can take control and basically guide with your RCS, RCS thrusters very finely. So the original, like the original Delta V budget, is like 711. Now it's like 512. So you know the Delta V needed is like 200 meters per second, which is not a lot at all. So yeah, we succeeded. Um, right. So let me load it. Uh, load this thing again and um, give it a little bit more challenge okay here we are let's uh, disable the satellites here um, so as you can see like the, the, the last time it's, it was quite easy because well this thing goes here um, and our satellite goes here and it nearly crosses one another, uh, one, one another, one another. So what happens, like, if we, like, you know, what happens if we're really different from each other? Then uh, to simulate that, we'll go around orbit, um, a full orbit over here. And um, yeah, so this thing is way ahead of this thing, so it can't, um, it can't uh, expect it to reach here. So let's see how this goes, right? Um, this is the thing, right? And let's set target here. Let's see. It's here, and it has to go here. Oh yeah, surface target. It's still slowing down as usual. But then sort of magically, like, it can sort of move these points around according to its will. And, um... Yeah, let me increase the speed here. Yeah, like, at first, like, um, I, I don't have high hopes for this, like, Initially, uh, what I have in mind uh, when I first develop it is to, um, you know, basically hope that, um, you know, they stay within like, you know, five percent. Like, like, you have to actually like 
uh, adjust the orbit so that it's roughly right. It's roughly correct. Um, yeah. But now apparently, like you don't need to do that anymore. Like you can just do this, and um, you can just do this and press rendezvous, and then it will just do whatever crazy thing um, it's going to do, and it and you will end up rendezvousing anyway. It takes a lot. It takes more delta v, but I mean, like um, the fact that it can do that is pretty remarkable. So here, uh, you can already see, like you know. The two ships, they are pretty close to each other already. And so, um, yeah, like, now last time, uh, last time that the reach, but um, it's like 512 when it actually meets. So, it takes more delta V, but you know, it still works. Let's see. And this is just like one orbit. Um, in in a few minutes, we will do like two orbits. Like basically, like the um, our satellite will, you know, speed up two orbits. Um, yeah, just speed up two two orbits, uh, and then try to, yeah, try to adjust stuff so that it meets with uh, the ship. Yeah, the station. Here, separation eight point seven kilometers. Yeah, do you see that? Like seven. Now we're at three point seven, one point two. Yeah. Oh yeah, and um, and like it automatically speeds up to like a hundred times the normal speed when it's um it's in the warp warping mode. Um, like um, you can actually like increase the speed um in um while it while it's running the script, and the script can still like uh, the script can still uh, can still tell what's going on and will automatically cut uh, yeah out. Automatic cancel the uh, the warp speed uh, when it's time to uh, do a burn. Yeah, you can see this is roughly roughly the right the right orbit. Like yeah, like zero zero point zero kilometers. Like let's see if we can find it. Yeah, that's there's that. There's the fine segment and. Um, Let's retract. Just because, like, well, we're gonna pass through this thing anyway. And we don't want to sort of do that. Uh, yeah, we don't want to mess things up when they actually, the warp stuff stops. And we're nulling out the velocity completely. So what's the result? So now uh, again, initially it's like 711 uh, meters per second, and now it's like 360. So that's like wait, 340, right? 340 meters per second delta v. But like the the orbits is sort of different. Uh, it costs more, but it um the, you know it can do the job. So let's. Here, let's uh, load this up again, and now let's do two orbits. Okay. Again, here. Um, yeah. 
one orbit and then two orbit. As you can see, like these are you know these are going in completely different directions now. And notice that 711 delta V budget means second delta V budget. So you know like let's set this as the target. Let's um Okay. Run Let's actually see the map view. Okay. Here's our uh, here's our satellite and here is our ship. Completely different orbits, okay? Let's see. So we have to cancel out like 200 meters per second, which is, you know, which is actually a lot, the majority of the data we, that we have. Well, not majority, but I mean, you know, it's still a lot. And so, you know, you can see like, it seems like right now it doesn't work at all. Like what, like, like why does it do a polar orbit? But, um, let's wait till the end. Um, increase the time warp here. Like, it basically does this. It extends out its orbit so that, you know, yeah, sort of like it can cross over each other. And then at this point, like, it it becomes the first, um, wait, the first case. And now it automatically adjusts, adjusts the inclination. Wait, yeah. That's a little bit excessive, but I mean, you know. Yeah, and now, and now, did you see that? Like, this thing, and this thing, is, you know, orbiting in the correct position now. And like, their, their uh, inclination difference is like, yeah, 2.5 degrees. Yeah, which is pretty, pretty damn awesome. Yeah, pretty damn awesome that it can actually do this. Uh, let's warp again. And now we're just basically run, run it until it's really close, uh, it gets really close to each other. Um, and then we can, um, and then we can note down what's the delta V required for each scenario. Speed this up. Thirty kilometers. Yeah, it's really trying. Retrograde burn. What's now? Uh, four kilometers. Not bad. And we have 140 meters per second left. Now it's 1.4. Where 
this one, this one here. Warp time map again. Yeah, we're getting close because, like, yeah, we don't have a lot of fuel left. That may be a cause for concern. Um, you know, like, uh, when I run it independently, um, off camera, like, it sort of works just fine. And the data V, you know, like, it drops down to, like, 40 meters per second or, so, or something. Like, you know, pretty, um, you know, pretty low fuel. So, let's see if we can actually go to those levels. Let's hope we can. Um, okay, 0.1. Do, uh, do we see it? Yeah, let's retract. Let's retract our solar panels. We're down to the verifying segments now. Okay. Basically, zero. Zero kilometers. See it face through. Okay, shit. Oh no. Not, not still doing fine. Yeah. Yeah, see? Like, and as um um yeah let's uh let's actually like uh try to dock with this for just for completion you know so let's uh travel traversely right here um Yes. Let's turn around and null out our velocity. And now let's burn directly towards the target. Right. Yep. Touchdown? Yeah. See, like, like uh, just as that, uh, just as last time, like with this script, like you can actually dock without, um, without actually using any RCS thrusters at at all. Like you don't have to put vernier engines on it. You don't have to put. Yeah, you don't have to put anything on it. Um, and the fact that, you know, yeah, let's, uh, wait, let's decouple this again. Yeah, let's release. And, um, Yeah, let's actually switch to ISRU. Yeah. Yeah. As I was saying before, like, you know, the orbits, uh, initially the orbits are completely different, but then it just manages to do it by, you know, uh, let's recap, like, originally the orbit is like, um, the shape is like this, and the satellite is like this. And so it basically goes to the uh, to this point around here or something, um, and then adjusts it so that or the orbit is uh, re actually resembles a polar orbit. And once in a polar orbit, like it tries to time things just right, just by having uh, just by doing these dumb steps, it, it time things just right to um, and then it adjusted um, and on the second burn it adjusted uh, it adjusted its inclination just fine like 
that's really rem remarkable. And so, um, yeah, let um, let me go over and uh, show you guys what has changed. So this um, this is not true anymore. The orbit has to be close enough. Um, but you know, uh, it's still advised that you guys um, actually. Uh, yeah, it is advised that you guys actually you know, guide this thing to roughly the the right orbit, because like if you don't, then it just it will just take a lot of data v. So yeah, so here, uh, here is the do one cycle thing. The one cycle is this thing. It's like warping, slowing down, and speed up. That's one cycle. Warping, slowing down, speeding up. Yeah, and then what's changed is this part, which, like, you know, uh, I just change it so that it dynamically changes the throttle. Before it just, um, before it just sets it to the max throttle, but now it dynamically changes when, you know, it, it, if it's really close to the target, to, to, to the target velocity, at, which means the relative red velocity is pretty much near zero. Then it does that. Um, yeah, and I also like uh, do things a little bit different here, and this is just some um, yeah, uh, some background stuff, uh, some background mechanism from uh, lib itself. Like basically means that, let's say um, here for example, like uh, I can import any of these files as um, as an, um, a whole library. And I can stop automatic execution because you know, for example, in rendezvous, like um, when you actually run the script, it will run the rendezvous thing, and then it will it will beep. But if uh, if you want to use these functions, um, like as a library, then you can you know you can call, wait yeah here. You can call like stop automatic execution. And then it will, you know, and then you can use it as a library, as usual. So there's that. And uh, I've also changed some parameters here. Um, yeah, I think that's it, really. And also, yeah, this thing too. Like, um, waiting, now the slowing down thing. Uh, before it was wait 10 seconds, and now it's wait until the target retrograde is pointing in the same direction as our ship so this function is um, I think right here yeah there's two vectors and the second vector defaults to ship facing vector um, it's just a convenience so um, max angle difference to 3 so maximum an um, maximum angle difference is like 3 degrees yeah basically simple stuff so anyway now uh, this script is available on this repo. Um, you just clone it, and then you put it. Um, you, yeah, basically you install a uh, in install a mod, and then there is in your game file. There's this thing right here. Yeah, so basically this is the home the home folder of the um, of KSP, and then within it you have like ships yeah and then with it you have script and you can basically clone your repo into this file um, into this folder and then just fire up um, fire up PSP and then just run as usual yeah so it's the first two episodes like um, the uh, we, we were using using the initial commit over here yeah let's grab the code here yeah, and now um, it's over here. Yeah, it's major update. So yeah, basically, um, and in the new version, like I have a bunch of other scripts that I really want. Um, that you know, that's really cool that I want to show you guys uh, in the future. Um, for example, like there's a hop which will hop towards a target. Um, like maneuver, um, orbit. Uh, I've also like adjusted the orbit so that it, it is more accurate now. A suicide burn, which is also interesting. Yeah. So um, if you like 
uh, if you like this content like um, feel free to like it um, subscribe and uh, share and that's it I'll see you in uh, the next episode